what's up guys and welcome to another tutorial today I'm going to show you how to make um, procedural materials and displacements using only procedural techniques um, and I hope you, you will enjoy this tutorial um, before that um, don't forget to hit that like button uh, and if you are new for this channel don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there um, after you did that now let's dive into it okay for tutorial I'm not going to give it tutorial on this queue so remove it then shift a to add a UV sphere um, go to modifier stack and um, subdivision surface modifier give it a level of 2 um, we are doing this because we need more geometry for this uh, displacement because it doesn't work with this amount of dif uh, amount of vertices or geometry so we need to displace it so um, after did that apply that subdivision surface modifier um, after that again add a subdivision surface modifier of level of 3 um, you can do this by holding control then h clicking on that three number um, and you will get a subdivided mesh of level three on the viewport only change it to three on the ranger also um, we have done the necessary things on this part go to shading tab um, then go to look there more to see what's going on here um, click new um, to add a new material then drag this up and now we need some textures um, first of all um, we need a displacement node so search for displacement map then put it right here then plug it to the material output input of displacement that's weird that's kind of weird uh, then add a noise texture under textures then add a noise texture um, after that connect the factor value to the height input of our displacement node um, like in look dev mode it like it will lag after that um, you will see some noise textures but Th that is not that is not um, the texture that we need um, so we need it we need to bind that texture with another texture to give it more beautiful and complex shape or texture um, to add that effect um, I gonna add a wave texture put it right here and it automatically will connect that vector to the to this va factor value and uh, and so on um, sorry for this lag um, as you see here um, the mixture of the textures uh, is getting so beautiful and it's uh, we are getting something so insane um, but it's uh, we need to change this texture or wave type from bands to rings um, this is just the type um, after that oh my PC is lagging because I'm recording it um, then on my render um, I did this or what you will see now the scale of the noise texture is 0.4 Point four. then the detail is zero um, the roughness is around 0.3 then the, the distortion leave it as it is uh, when we when we go to this wave texture right here um, the scale increases to make it six um, the distortion make it zero um, the detail make it zero the scale make it zero all thing will be zero um, all thing, all thing will be zero. 
um, as you see now we will get something beautiful um, but when we see this um, it's flat as you see here uh, these edges are not like displacing because we are in EV render engine and um, it's not like applying this displacement map as um, displacement map because um, it's using it as as just a bump map um, so to fix that um, first of all we need to change from EV to cycles because um, in EV it, this method doesn't work then go to material settings then go down and under setting this um, change from bump only to displacement only um, and again you will not see anything until you change it to rendered view that cycle um, again let's change this lighting to like this same world to enable it like it will lag because it's very it's very high amount of um, this vertices it's a very high amount of geometry but like it should calculate each thing on this render then uh, decrease the scale of our displacement map not too low but make it like 0.1 I think will work or point so make it point two. point two will work good um, after that the scale is a little bit too low um, so you can increase this scale amount just as you want um, as you see here we are getting beautiful um, effect right here um, um, you can just make it a little bit subtle just to make it a beautiful render but I think I love this uh, this type of work and so beautiful but um, as you see here the edges like the upper edges the displacement part that's going up is a little bit too thick um, to show you that um, shift a add a color ramp put it between the wave texture and that displacement texture then hold control and shift click um, to see what's going on with this noise texture and wave texture um, if you don't this effect go to edit preferences then search for node wrangler node wrangler and enable it and you will be able to make it um, then as you see here the black spots mean the deeper or the lower value um, it will like it will like it, it, it is like valley um, the white value is like here um, so to make it a little bit like thinner than its visual right here um, just drag this black spot here like it's just increasing that um, contrast called in this as you see here well now we are getting um, we are getting like simple and thin edges but uh, like it's it's your decision to make that thing um, best but I like it like this way um, then again click on that control shift to get back to that effect um, then shift a to add a camera um, I don't have a camera on default because I deleted it um, control alt 0 to snap it to your view then adjust it um, to your desired view until you get um, your desired view um, I'll make it such thing like this to decrease ranger time but make sure uh, 
you, sh you should have no to know that you will be you you will have so much winter time here and um, the thing that I love is this so surface scattering um, so put it one like it's wax um, then change from uh, scene world to scene lights um, shift a to add a light that um, area light then grab it out of that place then increase the power to see what's going on on your shape the good advantage of this material is you can use it for different shapes but you need um, more but you need more geometry for that for that shape um, for example shift a uh, add a yeah add a cube um, then change it to that material uh, go to edit mode subdivide it um, around 100 times um, then again add a subdivision surface about one or one or two times to get more geometry then um, let me hide this sphere right here then when you go to rendered view um, you will see that effect happening um, it looks so beautiful if you change um, the color of the wallet it will be like awesome to see what's going on on this uh, guy right here um, and that's it um, guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and if you are new for this channel um, don't forget to hit that red button right here um, so um, until the another tutorial um, I love you bye